Come back, every single person who apparently goes on this channel. And I had my, my, my stupid brother is trying to do a bottle flip. Oh God, I never had my intro to, uh, to YouTube now because guess what? <laughs> cancer. Well, I have something better than cancer. Someone's gonna call a death on my tooth. Now this is called, the, this is a new object, sure. Called Object at Sea episode where Walker up a it's supposed to be an optic, optic, optic show. Okay, I'm sorry, cancerous. Let's get into the reaction. Classy. Hey, viewers, and welcome. Welcome to Objects at Sea. You can tell by the inch. You can tell by the freaking title of the name. But what is Objects at Sea, you may ask? Well, Objects at Sea is just like any other. Anybody who has watched PFDI, PFDI, and MSA should already know about this. Okay, sure. There are 13 contestants battling for a prize. There will be challenges. I thought it was 20. And eliminations. So what makes this object so special, however, is that it's all done on board a ship. Now, I know you're probably thinking, what sort of challenges could you possibly do on a ship? I mean, it's pretty small. There can't be much you can do, right? Well, this ship... I bet it's a, I bet, I, I'm happy, I bet it's going to be one of those playing challenges, but I doubt that it might be one. Is really special. Although it looks really small and badly drawn on the outside, on the inside it's huge with mazes and rooms for many different challenges. It All right. How original challenge! Cost a lot of money, but it was worth it. Because this ship will be the heart and soul of objects at They had to They had to make that. More like objects in the sea, get it? So original! So freaking original! You gotta be kidding me! The most original characters! But you know, it doesn't look like that. <coughs> okay, so we were extremely lucky. We had a backup ship. And this one is slightly drawn better. Uh, that's what happens when cancerous Arctic shows have to be remade. So, maybe that rude cruise ship driver crushing my handmade boat, which I made from scratch, was not such a bad thing after all. And at least it killed some of the time before the contestants were up. Hang on. That's them coming now! Why would they be coming on a bus? Stop! Why all the dramatic music? It's just a bus! Yeah, I, yeah, I actually agree with him. It's just a bus. It's not like you're riding some LNG car. Gee. We have arrived at our destination. Hey, Stereo. Oh, hey, you. Anyway, guys, just come over here in an orderly fashion so I can introduce you. See? Orderly fashion. Sound like an original idea. I don't remember we, we went to college together and everything, but hell, hell, that's fine. Anyway, guys, get the hell off my bus. A bus doesn't make that noise. And how were they all dropped in one? Also, I brought your brain as hell. Welcome, first contestant. 
What may your name be? My name is Valenside, and I'm really Valenside. What? That's not even a. Is that? Is that? Is that? Is that what is that? I thought it was emerald. I'm excited for Peter to make new friends. Cool. Just wait on the ship until I introduce you super black. the other contestants, and then we will get into this competition. Sounds good. And it looks like our next contestant is a horn. A horn. I don't get it. Uh, All right, the teardrop. There's always got to be a teardrop. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hi. Are you excited? Well, I have seen these sorts of shows appear on TV. It seems that manipulation Oh, God, is key. oh, God. I'm pretty good at that. What? Oh, sorry, I, I blanked out. What did you say? I'm not saying that. Righto, well, just wait on the ship. And our next contestant is... Donut. Uh... Daddy is the most original character. It's also why don't they why don't they copyright any shows with why don't we copyright this show already? It's copied. You already you you broke part of your mind. I did not know you were going to copy Donut and put some headphones on him like. Like that's just gonna change everything up. Hey there. Sup. It also even changes voice. It's the design still looks the same. Just listening to some sick words. Good to know. Welcome aboard. Cheers. This seems like it'll be fun. Glad you think so. Anyway, next up is Sheet. Why hello. Why is it Sheet? A sheet is that's not even a sheet. It's a sheet. It's a pa It's paper. A sheet is way more different than paper. This paper, you should have just called it a... You could have gone with something creative, but you named it sheet. Man, people are really naming their object shows weird. They're darlings, I'm... Also, he has weird eyes. The one that you want on your team. All these other contestants would go mad without a figure of authority like me. Uh, great. Next up, we have Bed. Hi! Bed. So they just made Bed the fat character because, because Beds are super big. Hi! That was quick. Anyway, next up... Bed is confirmed the plot! Looks like Bed is the bland character. But we have Cam. Hi. Okay, that was also quick. But I can assure you this next one won't be. Because here comes the world famous reporter, Sticky Rice. Hi. What? No! You come back here and introduce yourself. They're all just saying hi. One way. They're acting like they're nothing. Oh, I was just playing with you. I'm very... Oh, uh, he broke the fourth wall! Oh, the third wall, I don't know. Very excited to meet on this show. It seems very well thought out. And how might you feel about this show? Uh, great. And I must say, this ship looks incredible. How did you get the funding for this? Okay, now move along. I'm on a tight schedule. But don't pilot episodes usually have longer running times? No, they don't. Shut up. Come on out here. Uh, you look like a busted suicide? Yep, that's my name. Really? Your name's Buster Sewer Pipe. Gee, your life must suck. Do you know what sucks? Having a huge head to body ratio. It is extremely hard to walk. Well, why the hell did you Why is it a busted sewer pipe? It looks nothing like a busted sewer pipe. Why not? Well kind of. Alright, well next up is Cloudflower. Hey. Are you one of those hippie characters? No, I'm an egomaniac who meditates. I'm an eggy. 
I know I'm an ego maniac that meditates. That escalated quickly. Oh, so it's just a cloud with a flower on top of it. JJ. Oh, all go me. Ah, uh, okay, that's a little. Hey, what are you doing, just walking on like that? Jack, Come back and introduce Jack. yourself. Okay, sorry. I am Sundial, and this competition seems just merry. Uh, Jeez. Jeez. so happy Up to me. Is... Shut up. Looks like Derek. What is wrong with this cast? I don't know, y'all, but I am gonna beat all you foes, y'all, on this busted, creepy, awesome ship of dreams, y'all. Is that is that rap? I don't even know. Who are you? I don't even agree. I don't even know either. I agree. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's fishball. Um, Google. Close enough. Well, Google, you need to get some rap lessons. Okay. And the last. Land. Last contestant is Tile. So I thought Tile was the freaking toast. Uh, ghost. Ask Baby J. He had it. So cool to be here. Except it's not really because I have already featured in two object shows, both of which got cancelled. So parts of my soul to this second of Did he say cancer? Pain in purgatory. And if this show cancelled, my mind might be lost forever. Right, well, just go on the ship. One step ahead of you. Um, no, you're not. Oh, well. I can only really move in jump cuts, so can you? Sure. All right, now the competition is officially started. Welcome aboard the ship. I am so excited! Calm down. Oh, sorry. That's fine. Don't worry. Anyway, let me reinstate how the show works. You 13 contestants will split into teams and do a bunch of crazy challenges. Whichever Bland challenges. team losers will be put up for elimination, where one of you will walk the plank and be eliminated from the show. The last object standing will win the prize. Wait, what is the prize? This. Oh. Anyway... We need to pick the teams. Each of you will come up and select an envelope, then open it up. Sounds like a bland challenge. Is people going to use envelopes on the table as a bland challenge? And if you get a blue letter, you're on the berry sherbets. And if you get a red letter, you're on the cherry sodas. What? I got red. I did as well. Well, it looks as if the more successful team this season is going to be blue. I am very pleased to announce that I have been pushed onto the red team. So you all have your teams? Yes! Yeah. Cool, then just chat amongst They were all updated after that intro sequence thingy. It's yourselves a bit to get to know each other. Hey there! Hi! Uh, what? <laughs> anyway, wanna join the alliance? Well, not anymore. No! Oh. Hey there, Valisite. Is it? You seem nice. Do you want to form an alliance? But it's the blandest character in the world beside you. Sure, it's always great to work. Also, what is his name? Uncle Summer. Should we ask Google to join as well? No, that's okay. Besides, she's on the other team. Oh yeah, she got it. Hey guys, I know I just said chat amongst yourselves, but I just realized we are tied on time, so... Can you guys follow me down to the room where the first challenge is? Original challenge, am I right, guys? Welcome to challenge one. We are currently at the bottom of the ship, staring into the ocean. Don't worry, the ship won't sink. It's brilliantly designed. Anyway, for this challenge, you'll have to navigate over the water using the floating platforms to get to the other side. So whichever team gets their most members across the water, wins. Ha! This will be easy. Yeah, we'll we'll have the first challenge is not going to make it very hard. hard. Anyway, start! start. <laughs> just right now. Oh my god, why? Whoa, what just happened? I think he hit. They're using the floating platforms to get to the other side. Uh, I think we should end it off here.